this year was an interesting year. Um, we actually, uh, Mike allowed me to do a little study on our planner. I put uh, Don curve tiny closing wheels on our planner. And then next to that, I put the um, uh, Schlegel Posi closed wheels. And then next to that, I put the Martin Spade type traditional new till setup, the Martin Spade type wheel with the drag chain. And then uh, next to that, I had the traditional cast wheels that everybody's ran. Um, just to see what happened, we actually planted, I think, a little over 400 acres, probably more than Mike wanted to plant. Um, but we went ahead and got it on there to see what it would actually do in the field. Very interesting year this year. Um, and I'll say up front, by far the best at closing this lot was the cast iron closing wheels. Um, next was probably the, uh, the Don Curve Tine. And then the Schlegel uh, Posi Close and the Martin was kind of a toss up. And some of our ground, which is real wet, uh, this year was wet, heavy clay. And we went into a lot of ryegrass where we've had issues before when the ryegrass isn't completely broke down. It's not brown and crispy and I can't, you know, break it apart in my hand. And it's kind of in that transition stage to where it's green and brown and it's kind of a wiry mess. Where we struggled before with the no-till setup in our soils was that the Martin spade wheels would actually uh, tend to wrap up in that ryegrass. So what they're designed to do is just completely break up compaction. They don't give you any firming. When they break up the compaction, they're basically just forking in that sidewall. They do a good job at that, but when we get into ryegrass and the root mass with ryegrass, uh, they actually get in that and they'll actually pitchfork that sidewall and tend to grab the roots and pull them out behind it, and they just start wrapping up. So we didn't know what the answer was. We didn't know if we need to go back to the cast style wheel or a rubber wheel and just get you know full uh, down pressure, but nothing to break up compaction. And we actually found the Don uh, Curve Tiny Closing Wheel. And uh, what we've seen, we've ran the Don Curve Tines for four or five years now, four years on our bean planter, and this will be the second year on our corn planter. Have done a really good job in our cover crop fields um, where we've got the ryegrass. They do a good job at breaking up compaction. Instead of the fingers that go into uh, the sidewall and have a tendency to wrap up in the roots, the Dons actually are kind of designed to be a backwards thumb. So it's going to come in around that seed. It's going to firm around the seed and give me my firming. But a staggered thumb is breaking up the compaction at the same time. So our curve time wheels will actually offset so I get a staggered thumb as it's going through the field and it's chipping in that sidewall. Um, the other thing that I really think helps out the curve tine is the weight to them. And I think that's where the cast wheels really come into play. They do a really good job because they're so heavy just smashing that row shut. And they did do the best job at closing the slot, but when I came back out in the field after we had some mergence coming up, that was the row I could always point and see where the cast wheel, we had that pronounced V, but you could always see that corn root or that corn was trying to have a hard time getting to poke through the top because of the amount of compaction that we were putting on there. Uh, and on our tail pieces, we actually run uh, the half rate spring on our, on our T handle and I keep the T handle on the first slot. So I'm running about as low as down pressure as you can get and I'm relying mostly on the wheel itself, the cast wheel, the heavy weight, uh, to close a slot, I'm not getting any artificial weight from a spring or anything. Uh, the Dons were right next to the cast, and they actually are doing a really good job at breaking up compaction. And we've got some really good pictures of them chipping in that sidewall and not just giving me a V and leaving it shut. They chip in the sidewall and it crumbles everything on top. Um, I don't run a drag chain on any of the curve tines um, or any of the wheels except Martin because they recommend it. On our soils, what we've seen with the drag chain on the heavier clay soils is the drag chain actually will grab the soil, the loose stuff, and pull it over and it'll smooth out the road like it's supposed to, get rid of the air pockets. But that first rain that we get when it's real smooth on that clay, it tends to crust over immediately. With the Don Curve Tine wheel, it's actually chipping and crumbling and leaving that crumble on top but always closing the slot. When I get that rain, it doesn't just hit there and pond. It actually gives it somewhere for the water to go, and it doesn't crust near as bad as it used to. Uh, the Schlegel wheels was the first year to try them. Uh, we put them actually on the second slot to give it a little more down pressure. We had some issues in our, again, heavy wet clay, which is, can be really hard to close, especially when you throw in something like annual ryegrass.